welcome to another vlog. It's Thursday. Um, yeah, okay, so today I'm gonna do a bunch of organization stuff because some bins and things have come in. So you know from my last vlog that I got these containers back there for all the shopping bags. Well, now I have some stuff to go on these shelves just to help organize a bit better because these bags of washi, they're always just drooping, flopping, they're hard to stack. These are also not stackable bins, and so they can only be stacked if you put like an extra lid on top like I've done here. <laughs> just have a random lid there holding it up. There's so much room on these shelves and it's not being used to its fullest potential. So we're gonna make some changes. These are also gonna get moved into bins. I just gotta figure out where I'm putting everything because I think I want this shelf to be for sketchbooks. Although when my next shipment comes in, they're not all gonna fit on here. So I'm like, should it spill over to this area and the notepads move? I just don't want any of the paper stuff on the bottom level. I am just still have basement <laughs> flooding. <laughs> on the brain and I just, you know, paper stuff stays up, up top here. It can go up here. I would just need a ladder. It's heavy stuff. So it's kind of nice if the heavy paper goods stay on the middle shelf if possible. I also put this over here. I stole this shoe rack from the furnace room because I thought it would be good for these bins. And I've actually ordered something similar that should be here today. It's not here yet. It's a little wider and it's technically two pieces, but I'll stack them so it looks like this. And that will go behind here. It would just fit so nicely here. And then I can put more of the non-stacking bins in those little shelves. Oh, so I think I'm gonna clear off this upper shelf here and use it to store folded boxes. So I need to take all these sketchbooks and scrapbooks and things off of here. I'm gonna move them here, but notice how there's extra unused space above them. I got some risers that the books are going to sit on top of and that way I still have storage underneath the risers. I also found this shelf in the furnace room. I think it was from the previous owners and so I just made a little thing here because this was already sitting here but now it's raised and look more storage underneath. But yes back to the books for a second. Um, I have art books on this side and I need to move those as well. And I don't know if this little display is gonna stay here permanently, but you know what, it's there for now. Uh, this, the art books, I wanna move some of them over to that console table, the lower shelf. The problem is it's very short. Like this, these books here barely fit. And so anything bigger would have to be laid down on its side if I wanna be able to still see the spine. But that applies to most of the books I have here. So I might put some elsewhere. So here are the risers for the books, which I'll have to build. And here are the bins. They just came this morning. So I unboxed all of them. So we have some really big ones and these should fit on my shelf stacked too high based on my measurements. And then I got more of these, which are the non-stackable ones. I tried to find the same size, but stackable, but it does not exist. Now this size I have some of and I really like that size. It's a bit big for like my product picking shelf for most things, but I got some dividers and then they're narrower. I actually have some narrow bins that are about the same size as this, but I just feel like this is more versatile because it's like, it could be a big bin or it could be smaller with the divider. So there's that. And this is the same type of bin, but a bit longer. I think that'd be nice for certain stacking situations. Like you have such a nice big opening here and whoa, yeah. So a lot of these I wanna put at the packing station, but on that lower shelf that's below the packing table. So, oh my God, so many bins. unboxing them all. <laughs> it's a new kitty condo. Midna did crawl in there earlier. Ooh, these brown shoes are way too big. <laughs> I went up a size because my other ones are small when I'm wearing socks, but this is massive. Their size jumps are huge. So I have three pairs. The two on the ends are the same brand. It's Bronax, which I got on Amazon. 
I forget what that one is, but this one doesn't have as thick of a sole and it's also kind of big. Like I've tripped on the stairs wearing these, but they at least fit when I'm wearing socks. Today's socks are pretty thin, but these are too big even with socks. But what's funny is I've ordered the same size in both of these, but they're just drastically different. And then this one's technically one size up from this one, but it's such a huge difference. Like, <laughs> So these ones I can only wear barefoot. And even when I do, these raised edges kind of dig into the side of my toe and my heel a little bit. It just kind of gets a bit callousy. but usually it's fine. It's just if I wear them a lot, it gets that way. I can maybe squeeze in here with these thin socks though. Oh my God, I kind of can. But anyway, I just got these brown ones because I was like, let's get these. These have the thicker sole, they're nicer. Let's go up a size. Yeah, no, they're even bigger than those ones. So, so I have been wearing these today, but it's a little dangerous. Looks like with these pants though, like look at this color scheme I got going on. I kind of like this, but I cannot carry the bins down the stairs wearing these. I'm gonna trip and fall. So these will probably have to be Christians. <laughs> also, I didn't realize when I first unrolled these, but this rug is is darker than this one, even though they're the same design. And it's not just the lighting, it's like actually quite a bit different. I mean, the green is subtle, kind of a subtle difference, but the pink, this has some really dark pinks in it, almost red. So they're not the same, what the heck? And now that I know that, it bothers me. Also, I did move the table so it's not centered so I can roll my chair up closer, but I would like to get just like a smidge closer. So now I'm like, should I move this rug? <sighs> it does also look a little silly. It does look a bit small for that spot, but it added such a nice pop of color, but now I kind of want to move it. But if I put it in front of the console table, it's still gonna be in the way of my chair. Someone suggested putting the oval over here and moving the circle in front of the console. And that's a little tempting, let me tell you. Or just move the oval over here and just have it not centered. Cause when I first thought of getting a rug for this room, I thought it would go here. So I'm like not completely opposed to that idea. But for now it'll stay over there. I just, you know, trying to climb over this with the front of my wheels is so annoying. And I tried putting an office mat, a clear office mat here and I still couldn't climb up. It was the same basically, so. Anyway, let's uh, bring down some bins or something. position wasn't the best but I thought I originally thought I'd put the bins more over there <laughs> and then I changed my mind <laughs> they're all over here so like I said I couldn't find this size stackable it also does not come in white because since these ones are white I thought why not make them all white I like how it brightens up the space but they are not available in white neither are those really big ones that's why they're clear but yes this shelf needs a little something which is why I thought those white bins would work well down there these ones. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty. I need to cool down. Oof. This is probably not going to help because as soon as I come back in, I'm going to be hot again. like my Ikea shelves, the bamboo. Maybe slightly more yellow. <laughs> so this set comes with two different sizes. There's two taller, two shorter. So I think I'm gonna use the taller ones for the art book stuff, just cause I want the shelf under the books to all be the same height. So I have two sets and I'll use the bigger ones here. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. We have this little like screw slash parts holder and it's magnetic. A stowaway. Also just found a thing of nails I didn't know we had. I mean, like I could have sworn I bought nails at one point, but 
I couldn't find them, but I just found them. Whoa! So it's magnetic. Holy! I'm unstoppable. Okay, there's two of them. I might as well build the small ones now, even though I don't know if I'll use them today or not, but yeah, yeah. So cute. Wait a minute, I forgot one step on these. <laughs> Little feetsies. Yeah. So, goodbye water spray, Barbie. When my nieces were visiting and they were checking out this room, my one niece goes, is that a water spray, Barbie? And I was like, yes. She's in the know. Also, can we just... So I have a Photoshop template for my thumbnails and it's got things like that lace border in it and a couple other things, like a couple potential backgrounds. But I also kept in my Water Sprite Barbie thumbnail because I love it so much. And so I can just like see it in the Photoshop file even though I don't need it in there. I was just like, dang, that's gorgeous. Like I need to see this thumbnail all the time for inspiration. <laughs> Should I go all the way against the board or no? I don't know. Maybe I will go all the way against it. Okay. See, this is a decorative book. This shouldn't be hiding behind the metal thing. Doggy. <laughs> a tale of two tails. That was their YouTube series. So we'll push the shelves back just a little bit. This can technically go with my art books. <laughs> Ye old scrapbooks. Bailey and Christian. Oh my god, grade 12 grad. <laughs> I've shown these in the vlogs before, but it's been so long. Almost need to do a new flip through. <laughs> I think this one's pretty much empty. I was gonna do one for our Mexico trip. We went on a family Mexico trip like forever ago. <laughs> um. mm. <laughs> oh, that's literally it. It rained for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Scrapbooker extraordinaire. Shoulders hurt. We got some animation stuff. We got amiibo cards. Animal Crossing amiibo cards. Animal Sense magazine featuring yours truly. Ooh, what is this stuff doing here? This should be in my art drawer. Met Gala. <laughs> I was looking for this. The Joy Sound sticker book. I have a drawer of stickers, so that will go in there. We've got clipboards and such things. And then we're kind of getting into sketchbooks and binder and artwork, the color catalog. Might as well have all the binders together. Okay, gotta get to some shorter stuff so that the taller things can be the book end over here. Kind of forgot about this. It's a defective sketchbook, so it's got this big line across it. And I was using it as a notebook, and then I sort of forgot about it. Oh my god, I was planning an art room layout, although I didn't know what our what my art room would look like. Like, we hadn't found a house, but I was like, hmm, just some ideas of things I would want. Ugh. Some old masterpieces. <laughs> Why does it say Jesus take the wheel on the back? <laughs> okay, past Bailey. Oh god, I'm dizzy. I'm gonna fall. <laughs> oh yeah, this render sketchbook. 
It's not my favorite for marker because it just pools on the top and everything gets all like sticky looking. And it's nice that the the ink doesn't go through, but like at what cost, you know? More stickers. Why am I so sweaty today? Usually I'm freezing down here. <laughs> wow, look at that. We have room for storage underneath. Wow, very nice. After giving it some thought, I think I will move the short books to the console table and the taller ones can maybe sit on here. I just don't know if this is too low. <laughs> and I don't think they would all fit here necessarily. I might have to put some on that one. Also, I don't have bookends for that. I have this one set of bookends right here, which I can use, but that's all I have. I think I'll just start moving some books around and see where I get. These do fit just barely because they're the ones I used as a test. Oh my God, I forgot how gorgeous that cover is. This should fit because it looks to be the same height. Another decorative book that can also go on there. They're storage things. I don't have anything in here right now anymore, but I can add something to it. And also that one. This wood, am I putting any of my manga there though? Cause I also have these. So they could go on that shelf. Is that the kind of look I want for the shelf though? All these Vampire Night volumes? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> these other ones, yeah, these could go. <sighs> I just got the most genius idea for bookends cause I don't trust this. <gasps> yeah. So this is a shelf bracket like this. Just put it upside down so we get the nice curved edge facing up and attach it here. The only thing is that spot, these holes, it's covered by this metal. So I'm gonna have to take off this. It's got me questioning this side too, cause I could just use this shelf as the bookend or I could move the shelf up. I could even do like bracket, bracket, and then leave a gap where there's no books and then bracket, bracket. And then there could be like a little decor thing in the middle. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do that because I got a lot of books, but I could if I wanted to. officially glue this down. I've got so many extra shelves that I'm not afraid to commit to this now, even though I was afraid to do it before. There are also screw holes. I just have to find the right screw. The ones that come with them are a bit too short because it's meant to be screwed from the other side. And so there's actual like a, a hole on the other side so the screw can go in further. Whereas here it would be sticking out the top. So we'll just use glue. Oh, I got that really centered. Ooh. And it is wood glue. Okay. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. <laughs> this bracket is a bit low, but if I just don't push the books in all the way, then it's fine. Billy, I'm amazed by you. I, uh, it's so good, is it not? Oh my God, okay, I need to do that with the other, the other wood piece over here now. Even though I don't think I have enough books to fill the space. I just spent way too long fixing gaps between boards because there was one here between these two and then on that one there was a lower one and I just kind of stuffed the hole with some cardboard. Here's an example. So you have little strips of cardboard that are just holding this a little bit higher so it's not all the way down in this hole. And so it's lifting it up. So on this side, I had to do that with these boards and with the ones underneath. And then on this side, I just had to do it with the lowest board. So, <gasps> oh my God, I forgot to put up the shelf. I was gonna move that shelf up one spot when I had the board down, no. Wait, I could do it still mounted. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I can reach it. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. I can just move this stuff. I'll move it up one notch. Okay, there's book section one, book section two, which I think I'm just gonna leave with a gap for now. I could put some of those shorter books in here, but I kinda wanna leave them on the console table. I like the way it looks. So this will just be a placeholder for future books. Mm. And here's how this is looking so far. I like those books being laid down because they're so gorgeous. And what I might do is do a similar stack with my sketchbooks, like these ones here. I might just lay them down so they're face up. I'm not sure. I'll just leave it like this for now though. The Death Note box is acting as a bookend, so that's nice, it's nice and heavy. <laughs> um, Yeah, I'm gonna take a break and get some food because I'm hungry. I'm making butter noodles because <laughs> I'm just feeling a little lazy with it, okay? And I cooked something last night, so I'm like, no. Butter noodles it is. I don't have any actual parm to add to it because it's usually my favorite. I just have these, these parm powders. <laughs> I've grated some cheese and I'll put a bit of this white cheddar as well. And of course the butter. Okay, I may have stayed up there a little too long watching some TikToks, but I'm back down. They've been loving their new cat treat, by the way. I even caught both of them using it a couple times at the same time. Usually they just snatch the, like, the lower basket. But a couple times I caught a baby in each basket. Nice scissor hands. Do I just plop the bag in there? Or do I dump them out of the bag? I feel like they'll stay cleaner in the bag, you know what I'm saying? But is that unnecessary? <laughs> when I was filling my other bins with these bags, <laughs> because it's so hard to lift them out of there, I would cut the bottom of the box and just like lift the box and let it drop out. And I'd do the bottom because this is open, this bag and all the boxes, and I wouldn't want them to dump out. So I would do it from the bottom. And uh, it worked out pretty well. Okay, we need to be able to stack these. Just squish this a bit. That was a pretty full box, and this actually fits in here quite nicely. There's, this is the only Sassy Santa, because I emptied out all the Sassy Santa boxes mostly. But the other designs here have two of each. You know what? Now that I have this here, I still have dust on the floor from when I drilled a hole in the wall. I never vacuumed it up, so I should do that while I have access to the corner. Okay, I don't know where this skinny attachment is right now, so I'm just gonna use open-ended <laughs> vacuum. Let's see if this works. Oh. Okay, it sucked up like half of it. Maybe I'll just get a damp paper towel. I don't really like bins like this being on the bottom like that because leaning under kind of sucks, but for now we're doing it. Those can always move. Like as my bag supply dwindles, those big yellow lidded containers I have can also stack under here too high. So that could go here. Cause I'm not gonna empty those other bins to refill these with bags. They're just gonna stay in the bins that they're in. So either those bins get brought out here or I just go into that back room to refill. So who knows what'll become of this area <laughs> in the future. But this is how we're gonna do it for now. Oh hi Kiki, when did you get over here? Let's just double check that this actually fits. Because I've miscalculated based on dimensions of the of bins before. It might be a bit too full still. <laughs> yeah, it is. But it fits. It helps that this lip does stick down more than the actual underside. So if you can tilt it in, you have a little extra room once you're underneath. Oh, that's so much crap. 
By crap, I mean beautiful goods. Available at baileyj.com. Actually, not really. The store's closed. <laughs> I'm getting a little pooped here, so I think I'm gonna stop organizing and sign some prints. My little organizer shelves for my non-stackable bins has not arrived yet, but that'll be nice to have just so I can load up a whole bunch of these bins ahead of time so when one runs out, I can just grab one that's already pre-filled. Unlike these, which are not picking bins, you know? So yes, I have a bunch of washi under there on the top shelf and then bags on the bottom and i tidied this up a little bit i moved my ornaments into bigger containers and moved these acrylic charms into one of the bigger containers and got my packing supplies organized here because a bunch of those were just sitting around the room because it was a recent delivery um and not much else has changed this room is a mess by the way it's like oh i'm organizing stuff yeah but it's not completed you're not going to get the satisfaction of a clean room in this video <laughs> And I'm putting the boxes here. I don't have all the sizes folded right now. Christian's my box folder. And we have a whole bunch of these two sizes. And then just a little bit of these two. And then we're missing the rest. Because I got some new box sizes that can fit the um, those 8x10 planner pads. So, yeah, I'll have more. Once there's more folded, it'll fill this space. I know it's not the prettiest thing, but... 
I just wanted more of my shelf space to be actually functional and not so much decorative because these are big heavy duty warehouse shelves, right? So <laughs> I want to put warehouse things on them. I still have boxes in this room. I'm trying to clear them out of here and not have any stored in here. But for now, we still have a bunch because there's so many of these sizes folded. And yeah, we have underneath there. The bins aren't all filled, but I've just got them sitting there. <laughs> now let's do some signing. I'm just tired of standing, you know. <laughs> I've been making myself go on walks lately, even though it's cold out. <laughs> because I just, I live such a sedentary life, you know? Like, I'm always home. And I'm often sitting or walking short distances. And so I'm like, okay, I've been so exhausted. It feels like since New Year's, it's been extremely bad. I'm like, well, first of all, just kind of low motivation. Although I feel like that has gotten a lot better, but I just feel so exhausted all the time. Like I can hardly get myself out of bed. And then when I do get out of bed, I'm not even fully awake until later in the day, until like three or four hours later. That's when I actually feel awake. And even then it's just like, bleh, you know? And I'm like, I think I'm just so inactive that I'm so sluggish. Cause days where I'm like moving more, like when I did the, the gallery wall, I was feeling great. And I think it's cause I was being more physical. And so I'm like, Bailey, you need to go on walks or something. I could also do DDR or Ring Fit Adventure, but I don't have those set up right now. And I'm still like torn about where to do a DDR setup. <laughs> so, all my save files are on the warehouse computer, but I could transfer it to one of my laptops if I want. But I would prefer like not having to drag over my laptop every time. I would want some kind of permanent setup. So I, I just do it now. I think the ink is not really coming up very well right now. I figured these might clog up, so I kept a bunch of colors out and yeah, there's three of these and then two Sharpies I have out. Now this one's still wet. Let me show you next to the dried orange. It's a lot lighter when it dries. Anyway, so I've already noticed an improvement on days when I do go for walks, so I gotta keep up with that. I went on one today, yay. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I've got to edit it tomorrow and edit some more TikToks tomorrow. I have so much footage of me working on this room, like getting the room set up. Because I was, I made a TikTok a while back being like, I, you know, here's my new empty art room. Stay, like, follow me to see my journey of me decorating it and setting it up. And I never posted anything. So I posted the first thing the other day. Oh yeah, that's nice and juicy. Yeah, back in action. <laughs> and so I have a whole backlog of footage. I just need to edit all these TikToks. Like I've got so much footage. The content's there. I just have to, you know, trim it up, get it ready. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ooh, crackhead cake. You need a little silly willy in there. <laughs> She's a squirrely girly. <laughs> <laughs>